Hi, in this course we'll be building a maze game. Uh, let's look at a quick demo. We need to use right, left and down and up keys to navigate Gobbo through the maze. The game is similar to Down the River where you will draw a custom backdrop. Yeah, so the point of the game is to get Gobbo through the maze. So the first thing we need to do is to create a new project. Um, Click File, New. I have already made that. Um, then we need to uh, delete the default cat sprite. And next uh, we need to add a new backdrop by hovering here and clicking on Paint. So we'll get Paint our own backdrop. Um, yes, then, then we click on Convert to Bitmap as we did before. And we need to set the color to a black color. Um, so we go to Fill Color. And we choose dark color, yeah, we can do that by changing the brightness to minimum. And then we need to use the bucket to fill uh, the backdrop with black color. Uh, next we are going to draw the maze. Uh, we need to change the color now to a color 58, like that. Saturation to 100, and brightness to 100, like that. Uh, then we uh, need to choose a line, yeah, so and uh, the thickness needs to be 20, like that. So the first thing we need to do is to paint a border around the canvas, uh, then paint the rest of the, main, uh, of the maze. Yeah. It'll be like that. So we draw a line here. Yeah, so you uh, should move uh, the zoom out to see the whole canvas. Yeah, and you draw lines like that, firstly. So it'll be the borders of the maze. Then yeah, like that, and like that. Yeah. Um, <coughs> then we need to draw the uh, rest of the maze. Yes, so it should be something like that. And here, like that. Yeah, so something like this. If you messed up, you can click and do button always and draw it again. Yeah, so now the maze is done. Now we need to create Gobo Sprite and code. So create a new sprite by clicking the sprite icon here. And here we need to choose Gobo. Yes, again with touch. Look at Gobo like this. <clears throat> yeah. Now we need to change its size again to 20, like that. Now we need to add the following blocks to the sprites. So the first one would be one flat click, we would start the game. Then we need to uh, here in motion set rotation style to left right, so the gobo would face right to left. Then in looks we change size to 20%. Um, <clears throat> and we have now forever loop. Yes, yeah, so it would repeat forever something, yeah. And it would move for four steps the gobo like that and then we would have if yeah so condition and inside if we would check if gobo touches the maze and moved five steps back what if it touches the maze yeah so we would need to choose here same thing touching color yeah and choose the color of the maze uh, so it is here like that uh, yeah so this will give the effect that the gobo can go through the wall. Um, yeah, and here we need to move minus five steps to move backward. Um, yeah, now we need to create uh, the code that would uh, operate the gobo. Yeah, so we would have four key pressed blocks. Uh, so we would have uh, first one would be up arrow. Yes, yeah, so if we move up arrow. We point in direction zero, yeah, so it'll be up direction like that, yeah. Then if we click left arrow, yeah, like that, uh, we point in direction minus 19, yeah, so you can see uh, that's minus 19, if I said it, it'd be here, yeah, so to the left. Then 
uh, down arrow. Uh, again, we need to set the direction. And the direction would be down direction, and it is 180, like that. Yes, you can see it's moving downwards. And then the last one is when uh, the right arrow is clicked, yeah, this key is pressed, we um, again point in direction, and the direction would be now 90, like that. Um, yeah. So that's it, we don't make in the game. Uh, to start the game, again, click the flag, and to use a left and right arrow keys to navigate the go through the maze. Yeah, like that. Um, yeah. Now we can make the game a little bit more interesting by adding crystals that Gobo can collect. Um, yeah, so to do that we firstly need to create a new variable. So go to variables, make a variable. And it will be named score. Um, like that. Um, yeah. Uh, now we need to make sure that it's uh, checked. Uh, so uh, it can be seen on the screen. Then uh, we need to add set score to zero to the Gobo code, so that the code would be reset to zero at the start of every game. Yeah, so we need to set to zero, it could be here. Mm, then, uh, we need to create a new sprite, again by clicking this icon to the sprite, and here we need to search for crystal, like that. Um, yeah, and for the crystal, uh, we need to add the following code. Here again, one flag is clicked, then we need to show it, yes, yeah, so it can be seen like that. And we go to random position, yes, yeah, so we, we in random position. Um, we have it uh, here, yeah, like that. Then we have the repeat and tail block, control, repeat and tail, like that. And the repeat and tail block would uh, keep uh, it until condition is met, yeah. And our condition in this case would be uh, repeat until the crystal is touching Kobo. Yeah, so um, we have something, and here we have touching. We can choose touching Kobo. Yeah, so the Kobo would be asked for it. And until we touch the Kobo, we turn for 15 degrees to the right. And then we uh, change um, color effect by 25, like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if the crystal touches Gobo, then we break out of the repeat until block and hide the crystal and increase the score. Yeah, so we need to change score by one. Yeah, okay, uh, you should be aware that we should use here score, and then we need to hide it. Yeah, so it would be in loops, hide, like that. And for Gobo, also make sure that you use here score, like that. Um, yeah, so now we need to create six more crystal sprites. And instead of creating a new sprite and writing code for each sprite one by one, there's a faster way. Uh, anytime you want to make a multiple sprites that are similar, you can just duplicate the sprite. Yeah, so to do that for crystal sprites, we need to right click on it and then click duplicate. It will be duplicated. Um, yeah, so it, we need five sprites. We do this for four times. We duplicate, we would have five. Uh, uh, crystals. Yeah, you can make more, like seven is also fine. Yeah, so you can see we have enough seven of them. Um, yeah. Uh, now, when you would play the game, we would have seven crystals and they would be at random places. As you collect a crystal, your score will go up by one. Yeah, so I can show that if I collect a crystal, I have score one. Yeah, you can see it here. If I collect two crystals, the score is two and so on. Yeah, so you can play to get all of the crystals like that. Um, so that's it. Hope you liked this one. Thanks for the lesson and see you in the next one. Goodbye.